All right, everyone. So um, I made a little bit of an update to my previous tutorial on um, assigning your MIDI controller to get some basic track groupings um, in Ableton Live. Uh, the big problem I had in that first tutorial um, dealt with the pressure pads on the Axiom. Um, and the problem was is that when I had one of them depressed, um, I would be able to get some of the solo groupings. You know, like for instance, if you look uh, here, um, I've been able to get the um, drums and the bass and the guitars all mapped out to various pads, okay, like the, the solo buttons. But the problem was is previously I would have to hold on to one pad while I press the other ones if I wanted to add groupings. Like for instance, uh, if I started, here I'll get the track going. If I started with the drums, I would then have to hold down that pad while I added the bass, okay? And then I have to hold it down to get the guitars. All right, so um, I figured out what the deal is with that. If you go into the preferences panel, okay, um, and you look in where it says record um, warp and launch over here, there's a choice to choose the, um, the solo buttons being exclusive. What that means is that if you select this, then every time you hit a solo button, it will be the only thing that's soloed. And then if you hit another one, then that's the only thing that's soloed, and that's the problem. So by deselecting that, you can progressively add um, solo groupings, and that kind of solved the problem. So now, if I go back into the section, session, I can just press the pad once to get my uh, various groupings soloed out, and then if I wanted to add more, Okay, I just hit the pads that I need. There's my bass and drums, okay? And that would sound obviously like this. Drums. Okay, I don't have to hold anything down now. I can just, if I wanted to add my bass, I simply hit the next pad. If I want to add my guitars, hit the next pad. Alright, and that's kind of the uh, solution to that problem.